Welcome back to Mega Man 8. I'm Swordsman. We're gonna go get ourselves a sword! Man. That too. Uh, so, the day before the 4th of July, the 3rd of July. I'm gonna go kill myself. Uh, continue your story. Um, I, I bought some new shoes. They're the most comfortable pair of shoes I've ever owned in my life. They're Skechers, by the way. I don't normally buy Skechers, but af after what Nike recently pulled, I'm, I'm glad I didn't buy Nike. You know, did you know about Nike's Betsy Ross flag shoe? Uh-uh. It's, it's gonna be a shoe. They, they, they made them and they, they sold them. On the back heel, it has the original Betsy Ross flag. Betsy Ross. I'm, I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong. The, you know, the original flag with the stars in the, in the circle. Uh-huh. And then... Some guy working with Nike is like, That flag is offensive because it represents, like, all the bad about America for some reason. Huh. And they pulled the shoe. And it's like... I, I, was, I was watching a Tim Pool video on it, and he's like, Offensive to who? You gotta use the... Oh. Um, by the way, um... Uh, Thunderclaw hit will immediately push that switch. Okay. Thunderclaw, Thunderclaw, Thunderclaw. You were supposed to swing on that, but okay, whatever. Uh, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Thunderclaw! Yeah, just. Oh gosh, so many of these. Give me that! Thunderclaw! What the hell? The tip has to hit it. Uh. Ready. Okay, no, I'm not losing any more lives than that, thanks. But yeah, I was watching a Tim Pool video on, on that, and he's like, Offensive to who? Seven people on Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> Most Americans don't care. Thanks, Thunderclaw! No problem! I'm sorry, that's all I think about whenever I hear thanks anything these days. No, 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 no. Swing! 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 What the? There we go. <laughs> swing! Swing, bada bada, swing, bada bada! Thunderclaw is actually really powerful. It'll punch straight through most enemies. Well, at least I got that ball, so that's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah! Just Thunderclaw. Ah, so useful. And a button. This whole stage is... Do they just come in? Oh, they are. Yes, they do. They're there to get your weapon energy back. Well, that's one out of the way. Okay. Yeah, pay attention to the... Uh, okay, so that flash bomb. Okay, flash bomb, gotcha. Well, yeah, it's a Mega Man game, obviously. The pattern should be the same, but maybe it's RNG. Yeah, it's green. If the next one's red, then I'll know it's... Red. If you make two explosions, it really brightens up the room. Like that. Will you stop dropping those? Will you stop dropping those? Well, you get your energy back. Oh, good point. Okay, what was that order again? Green, red, yellow. Green. Uh, red. Yellow. Solved. Once you know the first two, the, you already know the third one. <laughs> By process of elimination. There we go. That's all. Okay, top left is Tornado Hold. Guess we'll go to that one. But first... Hey! No, it's okay, they're not gonna bother me. Hey, we gotta go back to the, um... store. Yeah, you said last... You said at the end of the Frostman episode that you could probably afford something. Yeah. 
And... Tornado hold. You forgot to switch. Oh, oh whatever. Hey, I can stop it. It's just that... Okay, it's tornado hold. You gotta shoot that over. Oh, I sh Okay, got it. Yeah, okay, I got it. Ah, stop dropping those! No, shoot it over. Shoot it over first. Yeah. Shoot it over first. Yeah. There we go. That one actually doesn't need tornado hole. But that one does. Is it white? No. Yeah, it's, it, it's good enough. It'll fix itself. Oh, I see. I gotta use multiple tornado holes on this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the reason those guys drop... they By the way, those guys that keep dropping, they only drop special weapon energy. They're just there to give you the weapon. It bounces off the wall if you shoot it enough. Or you can do that too. I would have just used a tornado hold in the spikes and then used the wind to carry me over. Well, that looked weird, but okay. You could just shoot a tornado hold underneath where they keep dropping and they would just kill them as they come out. Okay. And Ice Wave. Or I think it's Frost Wave, actually. Back off. I'm selecting my weapon. Back off. Here we go. Uh, definitely make a save state. <coughs> save. You dropped it in the wrong place. It's supposed to just keep going. Drop it from there. And go! Stop bothering me, you dumb bat. Oh! Gave you health. I didn't know they could drop that. On there, drop the frost wave. Like, from here? Back up a little bit. You're a little bit too far to... Uh, here? Yes, and then run! Okay. And slide. Here we go. Keep going, keep going. That fire is one hit death. Oh gosh. And you made it. See, I like this stage because the fact that you're forced to use previous Robot Master weapons makes the structure of doing four then another four actually viable. Uh, I guess I'm going now. Ooh, flash bomb. Get out your flash bomb. There's a mini boss coming up. That's why I figured. <laughs> Here we go. If you're fast enough, you can kill him before he destroys the platform. Just keep shooting the thing on the right with flash bombs. You destroyed him. Yes! Ugh. I forget what that item is. <coughs> it's a rush item, but I forget which one. Anyway. Yeah, the reason the spikes are there is because the lava's gonna try to push you into them. So you're gonna have to actively dodge those. Yeah, now, the arrow shot is just ridiculously broken on its own, honestly. I love it, though. I know you do. I know you do, but what do I? Okay, I think this is where I was before. Yes, it is. Here we go. Gotta keep jumping to the right. Thankfully, there's no lava if, here. If you had just started pushing it to the right, you would have made it before the lava's rose up. And now you gotta go to the left. Okay, get up on that. Out of my way, you dumb ancient Daleks. Okay. You know what? They kind of look like Daleks mixed with that, like, ancient statue thing that, that, uh, that, like, clay dollars and whatnot are based on. Oh, yeah. Slide, slide! 
<laughs> now I'm talking like that damn robot. Oh, save state here. The, the lava fall carries you. Jump now! Yeah. Jump! Yes. Yes! Huh. Aren't you golden? It's at the end of this tunnel. Uh, oh, you know what? I think tornado hold would actually work well here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tornado hold. The lingering explosion of flash bomb also works, by the way. Because they just run into it. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, extra life. Nice. Yes, and that's the bolt. And that teleporter will take you to where you would have ended up normally. Nice. I wonder what that balloon has. We're about to find out. You don't need to make the save state here. You're right in front of the boss. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a pretty fun level. Pretty well designed. Ah, I got the lives. If I die, whatever. <coughs> I won't hold back. <coughs> Shoot him! <coughs> Slide under it! Oh, crap. Watch out, he's gonna drop something on your head. Oh, wait. Slide! That was way too early. Slide! Slash shot. Oh, and that's there it is. So when he jumps up on the wall, yeah. that's when he drops the thing and they need to slide out of the way. Lots of sliding involved with this guy, I'm noticing. Okay. I think eventually he sends both his top and bottom half at you. Now that I'm thinking about it, he kind of reminds me of uh, Weevil from Prime Hunters. Because his top and bottom <laughs> detach. I'll do my best. So mostly slide away from this guy. Or toward him. Oh, oh. dang, there we go. That was a. Yeah, you have to jump in between those. S slide! Oh, I wish I could damage his legs. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of stupid. I said jump! That's just a barrier. Get away! Slide. Jump! Uh, <laughs> like, you never jump when he does that, you just run. Uh, did not slide far enough. Uh. Get away! Jump! There we go. Finally. Slide! Wait for it. Now! Just shoot him. Yes! Ah, that wasn't so bad. Nice shot. Yeah, you managed to dodge at least one of his attacks. <laughs> Each one of his attacks once. Yay! Another guy down. I got a sword! Not just any sword. Flame sword! Flame, flame sword! You got a flame sword for a flame war. Saving. And let's go shopping! Yes, save, yeah, okay. Can take me to the store. Ugh, okay. You gotta spin the globe. The bottom option. I'm home. I'm home. home. Welcome back. It's been a while, Roll. New parts have been completed. <coughs> Ask for a part. Okay. So now there's new stuff to buy in the shop. Ooh. Let's see, exchanger. If you obtain life energy. Well, your life bar is full. Oh, okay, that's cool. Your life bar is hardly ever. Mega Buster will speed up. 
Spare bodies will be refilled automatically when you exit from a stage. Meaning you you'll you'll get your lives back as soon as you exit. Which really just makes it so I don't have to kill myself. Yes. Um sliding just speeds, speeds up sliding. Ooh, okay. Um Oh, oh wait, wait, down 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 here or down the other screen? That that H speed charge! It shortens the charge time for the charge shot. Yes! Got it! Okay. Oh, by by the exit, by because you're gonna have to go back to older levels with with new abilities to get bolts that you couldn't get before. And do you really want to go all the way to where the robot master used to be? No, I don't think anything else is for. Wait, exchange is for. And uh, super I, recovers. No wait, uh, spare charge is also. For. I don't think you can buy everything in this game, even if you get every bolt. Huh. So you need to plan out what you want to buy and what not to buy. Okay, that's their way of making it replayable, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the opposite of Mega Man 11. In Mega Man 11, you can just get everything. Well, that's because the, your currency isn't a collectible. Isn't a jiggy. Yes. <laughs> I was I was saying to Mark off camera, I was like, should we play banjo games for during Autism Awareness Month because Banjo collects jiggies and Autism Awareness uses puzzle pieces as their <laughs> logo? <laughs> but then that might be considered disrespectful since Banjo is often portrayed as an idiot, but then again he's like very capable and gets shit done and shows that you can get shit done too if you're an idiot. <laughs> Actually, he's not really as he's not really as stupid as his voice would. Yeah, his voice makes him sound like a moron, but he's not that stupid. If you actually read what he says, he's 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 more intelligent. That's that's kind of one thing I like about Ukulele, is that Yuka's voice doesn't make him sound like a moron. Yeah. <laughs> He just sounds like a relaxed guy. I think with Banjo, they were going more for, like, a country thing. I haven't finished that game yet. I think it's pretty... I mean, it's not great, but it's, it's pretty fun. Um, the, the, I have heard the final boss is a dis disappointment, which makes me sad. Uh, the final boss is just... He has, like, a lot of phases, and it's, like, extremely difficult, I think. Oh. It just keeps going. Mm. Kind of like Rintilda. So, I don't know why people said it was disappointing. It sounds like it's pretty long. Long man bad. Okay, well, uh, anyway, we've talked a long, uh, long enough about this. <laughs> long enough? We have long enough about this. Anyway, save. I'm going to save the fact that I got this stuff, and then that'll be the episode. <coughs> I could talk about banjo-related things all day. It just isn't Smash now. Good luck, Mega Man. Well, not, not yet, yet. But he's coming to Smash. You know, what? I'm just gonna say it. I think Sword Man might be my favorite level so far. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty good one. Anyway, I'll just switch it over here and join us next time for Search Man. Oh yeah, the Siamese twin head. <laughs> See ya.